All right, welcome back to LearnWire where I do software reviews for you. Today we're going to be looking at Key Search. So this is my Key Search review. Now this software has been out for many years. I believe like 2015 or 16 it came out and it has a ton of users. I, I don't know what the stat is on that, but they have tens of thousands of users using this. I've seen it come up in more recommendations from YouTubers or from uh, even some um, high ticket SEO courses that use key search as an alternative. So if you don't have the money to spend a hundred to two hundred dollars a month on Ahrefs or SEMrush, then we're always looking for that next best alternative. And so far Uber suggest, and I believe that this one right here, key search are going to be the two best affordable, uh, alternatives to those powerhouse tools like Ahrefs and SEMrush. So by no means am I saying Key Search or Uber Suggest is as powerful as Ahrefs or SEMrush, but we want to get as much data as we can and be able to do a lot of the things that those tools do without, you know, breaking the bank, right? <clears throat> so I believe that this software starts at, let's go over here to pricing a $17 a month. So you can get the starter plan for $17 a month, or you can just one time per year, $169. And it's going to give you 200 searches a day, right? So it doesn't take away, like, it's not how many search results you get or anything like that. It's literally 200 results a day. So I think for most people, most solopreneurs or small businesses, the starter plan will work for you if you're a powerhouse user or you want more rank tracked words. So definitely if you're going to need more tracking on your keywords, then you're going to want to go with the pro plan. I use SERP robot to track my keywords. And so I'm not really concerned with the keyword, the, the rank tracking, right? So I uh, currently got this plan right here at the uh, starter plan right here. Okay. So we're going to go take a look at this. We'll go back over to the homepage and just kind of look at it. The different things you can do. It's uh, got a nice, simple user interface. It's color coded. I like the color coded. It just kind of helps with what you're looking for. It kind of helps you gravitate your eyes to certain areas and see things a little easier, right? Instead of not having the color. So I kind of like that. You'll see when we get in there, it's just got a really nice, it's, it's very straightforward what it can do. It can do in-depth keyword research, keyword difficulty checker, SEO competition analysis, rank tracking, brainstorm niche ideas, YouTube research, backlink checker, um, website audit analyzer, competitive analysis, and content assistant. This is really, really cool that they add this in here. I think you guys are going to like this, especially those that don't have tools like Neuron Writer or some of the AI tools that go out and do a lot of this research for you. This tool will actually definitely do the trick for you. And I'll show you that. Okay. So just a lot of different things on here. So we're going to go and check out the tool. Let me go and log in real quick. It's a really simple sign up process. All right, so we're in here. I've been just kind of messing around with the software a little bit. Right now, what we're going to do is we'll just go into, uh, we'll just go left from left to right. We probably won't be able to hit on all these in this review. I just want to show you the, the gist of what you're able to do though. If you wanted to just quickly check something, right? So if I wanted to just quickly check a keyword, we could go to this right here. You could enter up to 50 keywords in there, right? I'm just going to type in a, a keyword. You can change location right here and so forth. We're going to push search. It's going to go out and just do some ana analysis on this keyword. You can see there's a little wheel box right there and you can see how fast it is as well. So it looks like we have a 10 search volume. It's a score of 45. So this would tell us that you probably really wouldn't want to go after this keyword because it's not rewarding enough to go for such difficulty, right? It's not in green. Okay. And then it has a low search volume. So it really, really helps, but you're going to be able to see the top 10 analysis right here. Look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, I see nine right there. Kind of interesting, but you can see uh, right over here, the DA, you're going to get all the stats that you're looking for and all those other tools, right? And it's going to give you all that, all that information. And just based on this right here, the only reason why this uh, is at 45 and not higher is because somehow there is a site in here that has a domain authority of only 23, right? But we can see that they have six links. So you're going to need to do link building to rank for this. You're going to need really good content. And it's going to be difficult to rank right here. So this just gives you a really good color coordinated, color coded, I should say, way of looking at this. So I really, really like this tool. We're going to keep going. So you can do a deep analysis by clicking on that. You can export CSV or PDF and so forth, right? 
It's going to give you the search engine keyword suggestions down here. So there's seven right here. I believe that these keywords are going to be the keywords that show up at the very bottom that are very, very related to that keyword. Then we can come over here. You can actually come in here and click on this again. Well, and it's going to give us the trend. So this is an evergreen type keyword. There's just probably not enough data on that keyword to do anything with. Okay. So what we can do is come back over to keyword research. And then I'm going to go how to lose weight fast. We're going to type that in and push a uh, search. Now they have different databases, right? We can go with Google suggest being suggest YouTube, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Pinterest, competitors, keywords, import your own keyword list. A lot of different options that you can get for a tool that it's only costing $17 a month. Really, really good stuff. Um, I'm going to go with their database because that's going to probably be the biggest database that they've collected that key search has collected after being around for, you know, five plus years. Uh, so we're going to go with their database and you're going to be able to get a lot of the, the keyword scores already. So we're going to go with that and search, but I like how you have control over all this really good stuff. And so you can see it's pretty darn fast too. So we're going to come through here. It's going to tell us it's a 56, right? So we do already get the score, but if we have one like right over here, how to lose weight fast, fast. Now I don't like that, but how to lose. So some of those you just wouldn't go for, right? These are wrong spellings, misspellings and so forth, right? So it's going to give us some more ideas down here. You can save keywords, you can compare, you can export, you can bulk check all these ones that are not giving us a, a score as well. So here's one cheap foods to lose weight fast, 10 searches. Let's just check that one real quick. And you can see it's very fast. And that was, there's a 39 right there. So we can go ahead and check mark this. We can save this keyword. And we're going to go ahead and create a new list. And you can see we've had all kinds of different. I used to use this tool a long time ago, but I'm back to using it again because I've just heard so much about it. They've developed, they've developed the site so much. So I'm going to go ahead and add to a new list and let's just call it lose weight or something like that, right? Add to list. So we have added that keyword to the list. Okay. So you're going to still, you're going to be able to get all the top over here. We can actually come over here and analyze this really quickly. I like that keyword. So we're going to dive into that keyword there and you can see that the top ranked keyword is, has a 22 DA, right? And then you have a five DA and a 23 DA. So there are three opportunities right there. And then you can go in and look at links. So unfortunately this top ranked they're they're ranking number one because they have, they're building links to their page. So they have links to their page. The keyword is very optimized. They went for it. Look, cheap foods to lose weight fast. That's exactly what you were going to go for. That's why it says URL. Yes. So technically all the rest of them are not technically optimized for the keyword in the URL. So there's some opportunity there, but we're going to keep going and then looking at these like 11 links. That's why. So this tells us that links are why these other green sites are getting up there right here. Okay. So you can continue down that road and continue looking at all these keywords right here. Does it tell us how many keywords that it's giving? I don't know, but that looks like hundreds of keywords that it's okay. There's 700 keywords right there that it's giving us right there. Really cool. I just want to say lose weight and search the database, do a couple tests for you. So there's still 700 keywords right here. I wanted to show you right here is the credits and it starts off at 220 every time we've done three searches. It's down to 217. So just think about that. You're not going to be able, you're not going to use all your 200 credits in a day. So the starter plan will work for most people. I think that the biggest upgrade in going to the pro is for the rank tracking. Now I want to switch and just try a different database. So let's go Google suggest for fun and push search. <clears throat> So these are all keywords that people are actively typing in to the search bar in Google, right? And we can see that there's almost 600 keywords right here. We can come over here and sort right here by a difficulty score and come back over here. And so you have all your easy keywords right over here that we could go right here. All right. So that's the keyword research. There's, you can go check out your lists. You can brainstorm ideas. We're going to move forward. We're going to go to the Explorer tab over here. This is where you're going to explore a site. I'm going to go ahead and put one in right here. You're just going to put in a website right over here and push search. It's going to tell you what your target score is. So based on the stats of your site, the power, the DA, all that kind of good stuff, right? The metrics of your site, <clears throat> it's going to determine how hard or easy of the target of keywords you should be looking for in the database, right? So it means that you shouldn't be going for keywords more than 27 is what it's recommending. So yeah, of course the site is at a, a one. So on a scale from zero to 10, this is kind of like their own little measurement of how your site's doing. So since this is at zero and one, 
we're going to want to stick to 27 or less. Or And I've seen this dial literally change between sites. It'll go up to 29, 30. 30. It'll, it'll do different things, right? So we'll come back over here. Competitors, obviously ESPN is not a competitor of one of, of this site. So I wouldn't, I would take this with a grain of salt right over here, but it's really cool. You're going to get a nice map over here too. And this is generally what most sites are going to follow anyways, is you're going to have the least amount ranking in the top three and then four to 10 right here, 11 to 20 and so forth, right? Usually it, it climbs up like that. There's a lot of opportunity. I have a lot of keywords ranking in the, between 76 and 100 that I need to move forward on, on closer to this side over here, right? <clears throat> you can view competitors and so forth, right? I'm going to keep moving forward. It's going to tell you backlinks right over here. We can go and look at backlinks, referring domains and so forth. So that's how you can do your exploring of a website, right? You can also come over here and go to view top pages of a website and it's going to tell you what sites bring what pages bring in the most traffic and how many keywords it actually ranks for so this is the best piece of content that i have on that website right there and then you can go and view keywords as well so 42 keywords right over here it's going to tell you all the the positions volume traffic cost per click and the url and then all uh, the score as well so you really are getting a lot of the details that definitely if you're getting started and you don't have the money to you know invest into ahrefs or semrush this tool is something i definitely would recommend because it will definitely do the trick for you you can you get all the information you need about a website if you're doing competitive analysis right over here you can actually go and check out backlinks organic keywords competitor gap they even have this as well. I'm not going to show all this in here because it just, the video, I just don't want it to get too big. URL metrics right here. So let's go and you can check up to 20 URLs in here. So let's go and check out. I believe that that's a bleacher report. So we're going to look at two URLs in here right now. It's going to go out and get the metrics for us. And you can see it's very fast. We have a DA of 89 for bleacher report. We have a DA of nine for lose weight report right here. So if you're doing, you're going out and you're maybe either looking at purchasing some websites or you're trying to find some aged domains, you can come in here and do 20 at a time. I believe it's only going to take a credit each time you do that. Yeah, see, we're still at 211. You can use this tool all day long. That's what I love about this tool. They're very generous in what they're giving you. So we can go in here and actually look at all the different metrics of the site. Um, then you can click on, you can click on it. And it's cool. They even give you an abbreviation guide if you don't know what this stuff means. Okay. All right. So that's competitive analysis. You probably would spend a lot of time in here. You would just put in different sites right over here. So you could just type in healthline.com. And you could go over here, lose weight report. And then you could just push. It's going to look at both those sites and it's going to find what I'm not ranking for, which will, will be a ton. Now, it is important to note that they're not going to give you, you know, millions of data points. So they're not going to give you like a million keywords or anything like that. They're going to give you, I don't know if it maxes that 500 right here or not, but they're not going to, the diff, the main difference between this tool and using Ahrefs is that Ahrefs is going to, not going to leave anything behind. It's going to, you know, they have access to over 10 billion keywords in their database. So it's going to be a bigger database, but this tool is definitely going to be enough to help you move the needle for sure until you can graduate into Ahrefs or something like that. But I think that this tool is the closest alternative that I've seen. We can come over here and it's going to tell us all these keywords right here they're ranking for, right? But lose weight report is not ranking for. We can come over here and go and we could export this, right? We could go and sort by score. So this just immediately gives us all these different keywords that are easy right here that we could go and steal these keywords right here from this top site laser hair removal stomach i mean that that's a very specific keyword right there it's getting 720 volume they're ranked number one but we could maybe try to swoop in there and get you know a ranking in the top three there's a 26 right here so we could technically go back grab this keyword either add it add it to a list or you could just take that and come back over here and just do a quick difficulty check on this keyword. You can see the software is fast. It's not any slower than Ahrefs. It takes just the, just the same amount of time, to be honest. And you're going to see the trends and everything that you need to see for that keyword. And you're going to be able to see the opportunity. Look, you may have a harder hard time getting in the top three, but look, we can go for top four right here. We can go for that keyword right there. 
There's a lot of opportunity for this keyword right here. Okay. So really good stuff. You can keep cruising YouTube research. It actually has a full YouTube database and keyword research there as well. And then rank tracking right here. You just go over to rank tracking and it looks like I have some, a site previously loaded in here a long time ago. And you can see all these different keywords that, you know, it's, it's 101 plus. So if it's out of the top hundred, it'll just indicate that, but we can come over here and look right here about some of the different topics that we are ranking for on that site right over here. Pretty cool stuff. It's going to tell you the change words and so forth, right? You have six positive ups and three have fallen a little chart right there and everything you can add keywords and they've found keywords right here. All these different keywords right here that it has found. We can actually just grab those 12 and say add selected and then a keywords added. Boom. Okay. So then we just added all those keywords. I think I actually added them twice. So I'll have to go in there and, and fix that. But nonetheless, and then here's the, that final thing, content assistant. Okay. So here's one right here. I have app for barking dog just right here. And you can see this is, you can type kind of as notes. They don't really have the, it would be a good thing for them to like add maybe some formatting tools, but the, this is really more of a notepad right here. Okay. So we have app for barking dog. We have our score and so forth. Then it has these must keywords right here. So you could add these keywords in here. A couple things with this content tool, I think it's great, but they don't have an easy way to add stuff. So if you do click on this, it's going to give you data over here, right? And you could go and view the entire article or you can copy this, right? And then you go back to your article and we're just gathering some information for our article, okay? You can save it anytime, but those are different subjects or keywords that we would wanna add to our content. Then you have this whole keyword section right here. It's gonna give you related keywords. It's gonna give you the top URL keywords for the, the top content ranking. I don't know if this is top 10 or there are the top traffic getting keywords for the first ranked Google result. Okay. So the first ranked Google result, these are the keywords that are in there. And then you have research assistant right here, which is going to take you for that keyword and find all kinds of different articles for you to go and do some research. We have questions that we can answer. We can go in here and just click on one. It'll take us over. I'm not really sure. Like if we click that, it just opens up another tab for us, <clears throat> which is kind of interesting. But I think that what you really do is just you have to highlight that and then you would come over here and just paste that in. And that would be a part that you would want to, you would want to add some of these questions in there. Right. And that's one of the things that I think that they should have a little icon right here that we could click and it'll just automatically add it over here to our little notepad. So I think that those are some things that the developers could add in here, just make it a little easier. Um, not a whole lot happens when you click on this. It just takes you over to a new tab over here. I think that they should just let us add that over like that, but little simple things like that. Right. And then we have headings over here as well. You can grab more headings, H2 headings, throw them in over there. And then you have the SERP results right here. So a lot of different ways to use this tool right over here. We can export this clipboard CSV and text file. You can have this over here. You can save this a notepad and then you can go add it to your folders or at, when you're done doing your research, you can copy this, go put it in a Google doc, send it to your writer or go continue writing it in either an AI software or writing it from, from scratch yourself. So all in all, this is a very complete SEO tool. It has a little bit of everything. It's really good at keyword research, tracking your keywords. It's a, you know, a full bodied, full house SEO tool that is a great alternative to Ahrefs and SEMrush. I think that this will, you know, out of everything that I've looked at, this is one of the closest to getting to the information that you want that has keyword gaps in there. It's giving you a lot of information, a lot of, and I just like the, the speed of it. It's very fast. Um, color coordinated. So overall, I'm pretty happy with key search. I think that I, I definitely would recommend this if you're on a budget and you're building niche websites and you need to do keyword research, or if you need to do keyword research for YouTube or competitive analysis, or if you're buying web, web domains, if you're buying any kind of age domains, you can use the Explorer tab over here, or you can even go over here, URL metrics right here and go 20 websites at a time and get all their basic stats. So yeah, this is a really, really good tool. I recommend it. There is a link below if you want to go and pick this tool up and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.